Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here in Jerez de la Frontera, the sherry capital of the world. But not only is it famous for its sherry, but also for its dancing horses and flamenco, which is the reason I'm here today, as they're celebrating their famous horse fair. So come with me and let's see what it's all about. So I'm actually staying in the town Cadiz and I got a train up here earlier about two o'clock and I thought I'd explore the rest of the town before coming to the park where the horse fair is. But I got here and it's an absolute ghost town. Everything is shut, all the bars, restaurants, shops, everything is shut. There was no one around and uh, it felt a bit weird walking around on my own. I thought I'd head straight to the park as I'm not sure what time it starts. I can't seem to find any information anywhere. I've asked a few people, no one seems to know. So I thought at least if I get here a bit earlier anyway, I'm not going to miss anything. But yeah, it's a shame I'm not getting to explore anything else in Jerez, but hopefully this will be worth it. definitely the park anyway I can see the atmosphere is growing but I have got here a little bit early there's loads of places set up later for people to eat like restaurant stands and all these arches appear covered in lights which are all going to be a little later the floor is covered in sand it kind of feels like I've gone back in time a little bit but yeah it's absolutely boiling I can see why they say come a bit later on but yeah I wonder what time things are going to start happening there's loads of women dressed up in flamenco dresses Loads of men wearing suits. It's obviously a really special occasion for everyone here. I've just walked right to the end and there's a fairground happening. It's absolutely huge all the way down there. I'm not going to be able to walk all down there. I'm absolutely sweating. But yeah, that's all going to be opening later on. I think I have got here a bit early. So I think for future reference, if you're coming here, maybe don't get here till about 6 p.m. I did read somewhere between 6 onwards, but then I read somewhere else between 1 and 7. So it's very, very confusing. But yeah, now I've come here to learn to tell you guys so that you don't make the same mistakes. Don't get here too early. Unless you want to eat food here and stuff and there's loads of options for that and I just heard a guy shout there beer one euro so very cheap as well just a random bit of information for you there as well it took me 30 minutes to walk from the train station to here and I saw a few buses lined up outside and I asked them if there's any running back to the train station later and they said yeah up until 4 a.m there's buses running to the train station so fingers crossed if I can find the right one I don't have to walk half an hour back to the train So I'm just walking around the outside of the fair and there's loads and loads of market stores and it seems a lot cheaper than any of the markets I've been to as well. I bought myself a little necklace. This is only five euros and this is the same one I've seen in loads of other places for 15 euros. So I'm really happy with that. It's really cute that they're actually selling all the traditional attire here. So all the flamenco dresses, all the flowers that you put in your hair, all the hats with the flowers on, all the men's outfits what they wear what are they call caballeros i don't know what it is in english the guys who ride the horses anyway they've got all clothing for sale here so if you want to feel a part of it a little bit more you can come here in advance naked and then put all the clothes on <laughs> jump in the fair <laughs> I just stopped and asked the policemen there who were walking around about the timetable and they have no idea either. They said there's a chance that there might be horses up here today. They said each individual shack has their own little show. At the moment everyone's eating dinner and stuff and around 5pm that's when it all starts kind of happening. There's going to be like individual shows from each kind of like shack, hut, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it could be a bit of flamenco or something like that so uh, hopefully it will start happening pretty soon. Everyone is dressed in flamenco dresses. Everyone looks really smart. You can see how important it is to all these people. It's actually a 500 year old tradition and it's actually one of the grandest festivals in all of Andalusia. There's over 1 million lights that will light up this place later. There's 206 arches and over 200 food stalls. So it is huge. Yeah, that's 
so far it's just a huge party <laughs> so many of these tents have got loads of people partying in there there's djs on there's loads of people dancing some are a bit more chilled out with a bit of food and stuff like that one thing i do know is that no one is here on their own <laughs> yeah this is making me feel a little bit lonely <laughs> but no it's all right it's actually really nice to see everyone enjoying themselves and just having a good time and it's like the proper spanish culture you know a bit of flamenco no it's really good so as you know i was just wandering around on my own and i decided to sit at the little roundabout over there and i met jill Hi. i didn't know if she was spanish because she had a little flower in her hair but i thought you know what i need to just put myself out there try and meet somebody and i just said do you speak english and yeah so we found another English lady here and um, I feel a little bit more part of the experience now. We've come to one of the bars, sat down, we're going to get some food. Yeah, it just makes us feel a little bit more part of it. Really nice to meet Millie and uh, apparently the horses are going to be here tomorrow. They're not here today, but this makes up for it. Yeah, so we heard from a Spanish man that the horses aren't actually coming today. All they're doing today is lighting up all these arches and I think that's going to be around 9pm, around sunset. So I'm absolutely gutted that I'm going to miss the horses because that is one of the reasons that I came here today. But luckily for Jill, she's going to be here another few days, so she's going to come back tomorrow and see it. But yeah, let's enjoy our guest show. And what have you gone for? Tortilla. 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 And some olives and stuff. So yeah, let's sit there and enjoy this. So I'm just leaving now as apparently the horses aren't coming today at all. Absolutely gutted. That was the main reason I wanted to go and check it out, even though I've got a fear of horses. <laughs> so that would have been quite weird. But no, I think that would have been lovely. Apparently the horses are on at 12 o'clock tomorrow. But yeah, that's it for me anyway. It's just getting busier and busier. Everyone is dressed so beautifully in all their like Spanishy outfits and stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. But I think it's mainly now just everyone going from bar to bar just having a bit of a party. It's a big party for the Spanish, basically. So yeah, I think I've had enough. I've managed five hours of it, but the highlight of my day was meeting Jill. We got chatting and we sat and had some food together and got to know each other and it was lovely. So uh, Jill, if you're watching, you've made my day. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I'm power walking back to the train station now. I've got a 30 minute walk till I get there and then I'll get on the next train, get back to Cadiz and I'll spend the evening there. It's such a shame. Apparently they light up all those arches at 10 p.m. tonight, but because I've already been there five hours, I really don't want to wait another four hours. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just gonna get the train back now. So I'm just back at the train station. I'm heading back to Cadiz for the night, but I literally think I'm the only person leaving Hedeth right now. I've just saw a massive queue of people all lined up, ready to come into the festival and they're all dressed really nice. So I'd say that place will be getting mental later. I'm kind of glad I've left. But no, I'm heading home tomorrow, but I've had a really good solo trip. I definitely feel a little bit more confident coming away this time than I did on my first solo trip. It's only my second one, and I'm sure the next one will be even better. So I've really enjoyed it. If you haven't already watched the other vlogs, the Cordoba and Cadiz one, make sure you check those out after this one. And if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.